not even there welcome to my youtube channel my name is adobe nolly coming to you live from the city of abuja nigeria yes i look weird like okay i had to roll up this too because the coins were beginning to misbehave so i had to roll it up so hope you're doing great hope you're staying safe and please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel click that bell button so you get notified whenever i make it goes i'm almost going late so i'm just going to do a brief video while i just i'm doing my makeup shasha just little touches you know i'm not really a makeup makeup person per se per se so while i'm talking to you i'll just do the little that is required of me um first and foremost i want to talk about restaurants you know when you just hear oh this restaurant is new you just want to go there and flex i'm here to help somebody's child i'm here to help you brothers and sisters in the lord <laughs> somebody say hallelujah hallelujah so today i'm giving you tips on how to know if a restaurant is pricey yeah so um this sure this whole gist thing started yesterday i you know okay on, it started on twitter first and foremost um there was this list i'm going to put up that list somewhere here there was this list that people brought up someone brought up and like okay which restaurants have you gone to and all that yeah i'd gone to quite a number of them but there's some i have not gone to all that okay you know what now that there's a list let me just um i'm going to be using this camera as my as my um, mirror right now so i'm like okay well, now that and um, there's this list now let me just use this list as um as um a a guide to where i will go to so i now i'm like oh who wants to go who wants to visit some of these places and then some people were like okay let's go let's go let's go we now went to one of these places so i've been going to pricey restaurants but this one was just abnormal not like and the funny thing is that this particular one i thought i had not been there but only getting there now we are nice i even went there stuff last year but i did not know the name because the name is not even there so i didn't know that was the place so i'm getting there now and now they don't bring their price list and i'm seeing water 1009 not even 75 cl 50 cl of water i'm going to leave the picture of what 50 cl looks like somewhere here and i'm like 50 cl 1000 naira wow okay no problem let's see what else you have there then a the glass of juice goes for 1500 and i'm like wow that's interesting some sort so and i said okay no while well, i just paid for my own or what i needed i just requested for what i needed and i was like okay fine next time i'm going to see me for here and the funny thing is that this food wasn't what i ordered wasn't so nice even the person i went with what she ordered was not so nice so that was it though oh god god will help me with this my makeup today so that was just it though what is my lips are okay so that was just it though and i said you know what i'm going to just come and help somebody's somebody's soul because you know this is dirty december and um so many people will want to dirty themselves but this video will actually help even after the 30 December. I think it's going to help even wherever you are, your location. I think Abuja and Lagos are the most priciest places in Nigeria. So the first tip I will give you is um, when you go to Instagram and you see the place that is trending, you see a particular place that is, is trending on Instagram, please and please, first and foremost, is a tip I'm giving you. Check those that are visiting this restaurant. If it is influencers, Instagram influencers, Twitter influencers that are giving you reviews, that are saying, oh, come and enjoy yourself in this place. That is a very good place. Or more, run. Run. But also, that is what I will tell you. Because all these people that you're seeing there, all these influencers, most of them, don't pay. They don't pay nothing. Even if they pay, maybe they pay half the price. But they are called to come and promote their restaurants. You see them snapping, hey, it's a fine restaurant. Hey, you're thinking it's one good restaurant like that. Like, like, the prices. Or something else you want your hand like how can you give me what has one thousand naira are you okay <laughs> i know the funny thing as i was still talking about the one thousand naira and i saw one price list so i think this is Lagos, and the water is three thousand naira hello three thousand naira when i showed my friend this particular um, um who should have the price she was like next time please go with dispenser water put the dispenser water on your head and take there and serve everybody there and i think i agree with her like it wasn't making sense so as i said the first is check instagram check who and who are visiting there check who and who that are promoting it if it's influencers the normal influencers you know on twitter and instagram my dear run oh my god run because these people are influencers they are paid to do the job but if you now see people like normal me and you then you know that okay the prices will be fair enough yes i know fair enough is relative prices are relative but at the same time it's just a hint I don't want this video to be too long. See, I'm waiting on just some point and I'm waiting on four minutes. So once you check out um those that are 
I don't have to do brand like all these people's. Okay, I'm using this lipstick. Oh, I don't know what the name is. It's been a while. I even had this one. So once you notice that, um, let me see my lips first. Once you notice that, um, that um, the people visiting there are influencers. Run like just run for your life because it's going to be very pricey. So um, second tip I'll give you is location. When you hear my tama, you should know what it comes with. When you hear will say to you know what it comes with. But I'm not trying to still say that house kids are not expensive because I know I don't want to call names of restaurants because I know there is one along Kadu that is really quite pricey, very pricey. And I'm like, why are you that pricey, really? Why are you very, very pricey like that? So, it's, but look at location first and foremost. My tama will say to. Then my next point is go on Google and all of that type in the restaurant name i'm not saying you should go and look at trip advisors and all those bobo tibo they will deceive you i'm telling you the gospel truth those trip advisors i'm sorry if i'm going to spoil somebody's business most of them are paid see i'm opening the anyash here i'm sorry if i use the foul word but i'm just trying to expose them here most of these guys are paid to are pay people to come and type on their this like, oh this restaurant is good is that is that lies if you want to know how good or if you want to know the state of um, a good restaurant, if it's pricey or not, go for it. If the name of the restaurant is Adobe's Restaurant, just go on Google, click Adobe's Rest or Chrome, anything, any of your browser, just click Adobe's Restaurant. After you've done that, go to the reviews and read up the reviews. If you see pricey, oh, the restaurant is pricey. Then it is pricey. If you see it like more than four places, four people have said it is pricey. Or more, it is pricey. They are not broke. Don't come and say, oh, they are broke. That's it. They are not broke. Four people cannot be broke at the same time. Do you know what it means for you to wake up one morning and say, okay, I'm going to this restaurant? Ah, they've already advised you enough. Oh. It is not them that is broke. It is that their prices, the price of that place is expensive. So give yourself some brain and say, I've helped you, right? Don't go to cheap advisors. Don't go to all those Google search and um, Google whatever whatever and say you're getting reviews from them that's a big like and then when you now go to that restaurant review you now check out what they have there if you see people saying oh their chicken is not nice avoid their chicken maybe go for their fish or go for their goat meat or whatever if you now hear see them um, there that oh their spaghetti whatever whatever is not nice avoid it i've done something good for you always check reviews don't go there based on okay you want to go there check reviews check pictures check everywhere just check the environment and know what's up then the next i think this is my last point really i think so so the last point i'll give you is um go to twitter go to instagram do at any restaurant i'll give you an example at adobe's restaurant hashtag adobe's restaurant if you check it and then you're not seeing anything meaningful then maybe the pri their restaurant so there's no way you'll not see it's funny enough because i would people to the worker and i'm guessing the same thing with lagos people so um hashtag check what people are writing check what people are saying about the restaurant it's going to help you it's going to go a long way and these things i'm telling you is not just for restaurants you can also apply this technique towards um hotels and um, what again just that hotels people don't really go there because you know people in abuja cannot be going to a hotel like unless maybe they want to do maybe they want to go and um, maybe on um, a getaway unless that but you see restaurants people always give review so i hope with this few points of mine i've been able to convince you and not convince confuse you that you have to be very careful on where you spend your money you see yes it's that's December. people will now come and tell you oh there's this new joint here let's go there and flex and all of that good stuff you go there and you will wash for its tire i said so so or you and your girls you want to cause because you don't want to fall hand you now go there and say okay let me just um go with anything you will wash plate and tire let me tell you something if they say okay we are going to adobe's restaurant tomorrow you know what you will do go and check it out go all these techniques tips i've given to you check each and every one of them out and then you now check your pockets and know oh okay this place might be okay i think i can afford it then you know whether you should go with it or you should not go with it and then i even forgot to even say something when you go to that online to check the reviews you can go to that image you know when you type there's web i think i think is it web or notes then image blah 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 or just click on image luckily for you 
some people that give reviews actually put up prices on the price list of some of these restaurants so you can just go through the price list and know whether it's a place you might want to visit whether the prices are okay with you whether the environment are okay, is okay with you you know some of these people i don't blame them when they say their prices are high because if you know how much they pay for rent really you will be like oh well i understand but at the same time you shouldn't cut our neck there should be better ways you can make this money like with one thousand naira water do you think you'll still see me there ah i never blow like that you get i have not blown like that or rather and your meal is not so nice i wanted to even say or rather i'll just drink enough water before going and then i go there i will not drink anything i'll just eat food and go i don't know whether i've made any point yeah but i know this thing if you sit down and listen to this video very well you know that helps somebody soon so this is where i will stop for today and if there are questions you want to ask me leave it in the comment section or um chat me up on my social media handles twitter instagram and all of that good stuff i think i believe in my instagram and twitter handle down here below so you can check it out so see you all and merry christmas in advance yeah bye